Thanksgiving's right around the corner, then Christmas is gonna be right around the corner, and then 2018 is gonna be right around the corner, and then I'm gonna be graduating, and then going to college, and then becoming an adult. Ah! Hey, what's up, you guys? It's simply me, Diana, and today I'm gonna be talking about the types of Christmas shoppers because I know it's not quite December yet, it's not even Thanksgiving, but this goes for like Black Friday, which I'm gonna be making a dedicated video to Black Friday, but today I wanted to make a separate shopping kind of video and talk about the types of shoppers that there are especially during around the holiday season because there's some specific people that you're going to be able to pinpoint and you're going to be oh yeah definitely i know exactly what kind of people you're talking about and i've narrowed it down to like six different people so i might be missing a few but you know i don't know these are the main ones that i found interesting and yeah, let's just get into it and let me explain. So the first one I like to call is the pre-planned shopper. This is the shopper, if it's for like any kind of holiday, they do it in like a month or two in advance. And they're just insane. They probably do Black Friday, like it's their religion. And they like to get a bunch of things and keep them stored away. And when it's like, oh, it's so-and-so's birthday. Here, I got this for you three months ago while it was on sale. This person lives and breathes off of sales and discounts. They probably are an extreme couponer and you really want to let them handle the shopping game because someone as indecisive as me will overthink like, I don't know which one's better. <laughs> and then I would just like struggle with that, but you know, I like to take thought into my shopping, but I am nowhere near the pre-planned shopper. This next one I like to call the oh shit shopper because they somehow forget until the last second that they need to get someone a gift. Like if it's 9 p.m. Christmas Eve or even like 8 a.m. Christmas Day, they're gonna be like, oh shit, I forgot to get my mom a present. What am I gonna do? So this person tends to be a procrastinator with their gifts and basically everything in life. I'm kind of like this and I'm just like, oh God, I forgot about this. And then they'd go on a frantic frenzy and just like get whatever's in their reach or the first thing that comes to mind, like, yeah, 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 they'll like this, they'll like this. This next one I call the re-gifter and that kind of speaks for itself. They take gifts that were given to them, repackage them and then give them away because they're too damn lazy and they can't be bothered to go out and actually spend money or time on gifts. So if it's like, a book or something that you didn't read just like I don't I'm not gonna find any use in this and just like give it away but one thing about this you need to be super careful if you're gonna be the regifter and make sure you don't give back the same gift that someone gave you this next one is very practical it's the online shopper it's someone who wants to save their time and effort and avoid any kind of traffic or human interaction whatsoever and just go the online route despite the overnight shipping fee and all that processing and handling extra payment there that's worth it and it's a lot easier because you get a lot more variety online and it can be shipped with to your house within a couple days and if not that's fine you'll get it and then you'll be like, oh hey cool that's in the mail and then bam wrap it and give it to your person for christmas online shopping it's a smart idea. This next one I like to call the in the moment, I don't have a list, but this will do shopper. Basically, it's as easy as it sounds. You go in, you don't really have like an idea of what to get someone. So you're just kind of like, oh, hey, yeah, that's cool. All right, yeah, I'm gonna get this. That's exactly what my mom is. She has a list of people she wants to get presents, but she doesn't know what to get them. So they'll just be like, oh yeah, I can get this. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, I got it. Like without any pre-planning or idea or any kind of situation of their likings or dislikings. They're like, oh yeah, I feel that this is right. And you know, hey, it usually works out. So what are you gonna do about it? And finally, this last one I like to call made of money. And they basically just give you gift cards, cash, probably put it in like a little envelope and they're just like, save your money. And they don't really, this is the kind of person who really doesn't care to think of what to get you other than the fact that they're like, hey, it's money, everyone likes money, here you go. But there's like two reasons that people would do this. It's just because they don't know what you'd like, so they're just gonna save it and be like, well, I'll just let you buy whatever you want with this money. 
or they're like, man, I really don't care. Here's a gift card because it's the easiest thing you can do. But yeah, anyway, those six shoppers and probably a couple more that I miss are gonna be pretty relevant during this time of the year because everyone's shopping, everyone's gonna wanna get gifts for people. And Christmas time is just everyone being all frantic and like, I need to get gifts for my friends and family. So if you see those kind of shoppers out there, then you're welcome for pointing them out because you're gonna notice them a lot more now. And I'm sorry, but also not sorry. If you guys have liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I put out videos twice a week normally. <laughs> I can't really say much about it because I've been screwing up my schedule because of life and I'm like, oh God. And as always, I hope you guys had a great time watching this video because I had a great time making it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.